Welcome back to my channel. So, I've been getting a lot of, you know, requests to do the no makeup makeup look. So, today I'm going to teach you how to do a no makeup makeup look. Now, if you guys don't know what a no makeup makeup look is, I think the easiest way to explain it is kind of like we're wearing makeup but we don't want it to look like we're wearing makeup so yeah no makeup makeup look hence the name but it's starting to get like really popular it's trending um a lot of influencers are starting to do their makeup like that um Aaliyah J, Jackie Aina doing no makeup makeup looks and even influencers like Jada Weta, Ari all of them do the no makeup makeup look so today I'm going to teach you how to forget do it. to click subscribe like this video and let's get started the key to a good no makeup makeup look is a really good base um so i already washed my skin um i have clean skin if you guys want a routine on my skincare i will give you that just let me know down below it's will go in with a really really good moisturizer so i know my makeup girlies know exactly what it is what this is this is the amber release um sorry it is in french my guy but this is amber release um moisturizer so everybody's been going crazy about this on tiktok all that good stuff um but it really works it's super lightweight um great for all different types of skin tones i am oily combination so it really works well with like hydrating my skin without making it excessively oily and it just helps my makeup just glide one like butter sis butter so yes yeah, so make sure you have a really good um moisturizer yeah and if you don't have the amber release one um another one i recommend is i also use this at night this is the dermacil lab excuse it's a little dirty but um it's my oil free night moisturizer facial cream with vitamin e this is bomb too this is that girl now once you let the moisturizer sit i give it about a couple minutes just to absorb into your skin you don't want to layer everything on each other right back to back to back you just want to give your skin some time to get adjusted to whatever you're putting on it whether it be moisturizer primer foundation concealer etc give it some time to just set that's another key tip next thing we're gonna go in with is my laura mercier pore pure, pure canvas primer this is the blurring one they have a they have other ones i believe they have ones for oily skin which is this one normal and dry skin so they have three different ones um but of course i'm more oil prone so this is my go-to um it is a bit pricey so if you guys aren't in that avenue i would also suggest the elf poreless primer we all know what that looks like we are my tiktok girlies know what that looks like um that works just as well too but this one i like that it's more of like a it's more of like a lotiony if that makes any sense that um primer and it's not as sticky um so i like that but like i said the elf one works just as good whatever primer you have that's fine primer a little bit goes a long long way don't oversaturate your skin that can also give you more of a cakey textured appearance the next step i'm gonna go in with after i've let my primer sit for a little is my foundation the one i'm using today is the nars light reflecting foundation and this is very good um this one is very lightweight it's very um Good for a no makeup makeup look so it's a very lightweight it has uh skincare in it as well so it is good for your skin it's not gonna clog your pores and i've just been loving this one lately this has been definitely my go-to foundation for a minute now i know i'm a little late to the game but she's that girl especially if you have oily combo skin i highly suggest her um 
Now also, if she is, NARS is a little pricey too, and that's cool. If you do not have NARS in the budget, you can use Maybelline, Maybelline, my God. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. That's also a good alternative. Putting the foundation on my face. Um, I'm applying it with my finger because I feel like my my hands they're clean they're clean guys don't don't come for me um it definitely warms up to the skin so it gives me that i don't have to do too much with my brush and my beauty blender or my sponge let me say it like that my sponge i don't have to do as much with it when i apply it with my hands I'm okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in with my brush first I'm gonna spray on, today I'm using Revolution's Conceal and Define um, Fixing Spray, okay? You can also use the NYX Fixing Spray as well. Um, you can use whichever one you want. Revlon, she is for my budget-friendly galleys, and she's really good too. So what I like to do is I do like to spray my brushes as I'm applying my concealer, my foundation, because it just helps it soak into my skin a little bit better. I don't know how to really put it into words, but it definitely gives me more of a flawless finish versus if I don't spray my brush, I would suggest to use the setting spray in between all the applications. And you're gonna see me do that on this video. So I'm gonna show you how. For sure, you know I got you. <coughs> Take my sponge and another affordable one. This is my Paw Paw pack. And this is from Amazon, $7 for six. And these work fan, my bad, my camera just died. So I just take my beauty blender or my puff, my pop pop puff, sorry. And I just blend out everything that I just went over with the brush, I reinforce with the sponge. And it just gives more of like a flawless base. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealers. I use two and I'm explaining to you why. So the first one, the first one I use is Maybelline Fit Me Conceal in the number 25 medium. And I also use Tarte in the color medium sand, three, 345, right? And so I'll go in with the color most closest to my foundation shade which is the Maybelline. I'll go in with that first and I'll just go in on my under eyes, like so like how we, you would regularly normally go. Let me do it again on this side, depending on your face shape. And you're gonna start off, like I said, with the color that's closest to your foundation shade. Okay, now that we've applied that, we're gonna go in with the lighter. I would say maybe like two to three shades. Two if you're a beginner. Two shades lighter than your foundation. And we're gonna go in the inner corner more so with the lighter shade of the two. If that makes any sense you're just gonna keep it right here on the side of the nose and in the inner corners and should have something that looks a little bit like that okay we're like i said we're gonna let it sit on the face um and i'm gonna explain to you why i go in like that so the reason why and we're setting the face with once again our fixing spray so the reason why I go in with the regular shade first versus the high, the lighter shade is because um, you want to, you want the, you want it to be subtle. This is so hard. Sorry guys. This is also my first time um, doing a makeup tutorial and not doing a voiceover. So bear with me. But um, so you want to keep like the outer shade closer to your skin tone and then make the, the inner corner brighter so that it adds that that pop 
you know what i mean you don't want it to be too bright because like i said this is a no makeup makeup look so you want it to give the impression that you're really not wearing anything but we know the secret sis we know the secret we know we wearing some stuff um so yeah so you're just gonna blend out both of those sides first with i like to do it with a brush on the ends first and then i like to go in the inner corners and closer to the eye with my sponge i just think like i said it gives more of a flawless look that way but you know to each his own And then I just blend out the rest of my, where I placed the concealer also. And the concealer I use for the rest of my face, like the bridge of my nose right here, and then my chin are all of the Maybelline. No, none of the brighter color, just closer to my skin tone, maybe like a shade lighter. So now I've gotten with my NYX Wonder Stick, um, I just used the darker shade, the deeper shade, and this is the old one. So this one is in the, I don't even know, the shade deep, um, and that's what I use to contour my face. Once again, I'm going in with my fixing spray, spraying the brush, very simple, and then I'm just blending upwards. You're going to blend upwards never down just always up so that we can give that more sculpted toned appearance i'm just gonna blend up. same thing with forehead you're gonna blend into your hairline not downwards up into your hairline okay so now that we have our base kind of done we have to set it so setting it is what's going to keep it in a place for my beginner girlies that's what's going to keep your foundation lasting in your concealer and your well contour lasting all day is setting it with some sort of powder okay i'm gonna show you how so now i'm gonna go in with the powder the first powder i go in with is a pressed powder on a triangle puff you can get these from Amazon as well, and I'll leave everything that I'm using in this video in the description box down below. So I'm going to take my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. This stuff is magic. It's in the shade medium. In the shade medium, I'm going to take a little bit on my powder puff, and I'm just going to go and dab it into my skin just like that and if you struggle with like lines under your eyes like how i do this is perfect for you okay so we're gonna set first with a pressed powder and i'm gonna show you the difference in a sec between the pressed and the loose i mean it's kind of self-explanatory but you know in case you don't know what i'm talking about i'm gonna show you the next powder i'm gonna use too so we're just gonna go on everything that we concealed with a lighter shade we're just gonna go in all those spots with the pressed powder okay and it's gonna look something like this then take the shine away all right now i'm going in with my all-time favorite my girl laura mercier she's she's the goat um, I go back and forth between the shade, the regular translucent powder, and the honey powder as well. Um, I suggest if you are one of my melanin baddies, you use the translucent, I mean, use the honey. Um, if you're a lighter tone shade girly, then I would use the translucent, the regular Laura Mercier powder. But I'm just going to take some on my powder puff. Today I'm using honey. So I'm just gonna take some of my powder puff and don't be alarmed. I know it looks like crazy, right? I'm just gonna go over it by the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna set underneath my eye once again with the powder. And you could just blend it out. Just go, if you accidentally use too much powder, like I accidentally use too much powder right there, um, just keep going back and forth and it'll blend itself out and then go where you've set the other areas too. 
you can always stretch the powder or like under your nose, on the sides, bring it down, not too down, but you know, just something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just go down the bridge of my, well, not the bridge, that's not the bridge, it's the sides of my nose. I'm so sorry. Sides of my nose, the powder. Just to give me that snatch. And then I'm just gonna go under my eye and reinforce that pressed powder with the loose powder. Now, what I was trying to say before is the difference between the pressed powder is the pressed powder is very much like not moving out of the pan. That's pressed powder. And then the loose powder is very, it's, it's loose. You know, it's just, it's a loose powder. So that's the difference you guys, if you wanted to know. I'm here to help. I'm here to educate. So I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose and then reinforce the chin and this. So this is how we're this is how we're coming so far, okay? Stay with me. Now we have to reinforce our contour with powder. I use the Juvia's Place. This is my girl. I love Juvia's Place products. And this is their bronzer palette. And I use the top shade in this one. It's a light enough to not make me look orange because I have that problem. Um, I, I turn orange easy. So it's light enough to not make me turn orange, but it's also deep enough where you can tell. And it gives me that sculpted appearance that I'm definitely looking for. That's how it looks versus this side. And you wanna be real light with the powder. Just start off light, and then if you feel like you need to add more, add more. Um, because you could always add, but you can never take away. So don't start off super heavy handed. Just go in light and lightly build this up. But this powder is very beginner friendly. It's very good for girlies on the go. It has a mirror in it. Mine's dirty, don't, don't pay attention. You know, I have one in my car too, just in case I need to reapply. I have like multiple of these, so it's perfect. But yes, and keep it like that. Cute, cute snatch, period. I asked, oh, not asshole, oh my God. I also add some to the sides of my nose. I did that off camera because it's very hard for me to do it on camera staring at y'all. Um, but yeah, right here, right here, and under here. Okay, so I did my eyebrows off camera because it'll take me forever. But if you would like to see an in-depth tutorial, I can definitely film that for you guys. Just let me know how you get the base and you set it and then we're gonna spray once again with our fixing spray just like that so now normally with any other makeup routine i do an eyeshadow look but considering this is a no makeup makeup look i want to make it look as neutral tone natural as possible so I'm not gonna go in with any eyeshadow, like, you know, cut creases or anything like that, but I am going to create a wing um, in, a, in a brown shade. Any brown shade that you have is fine. If you wanna know specifically what I'm using, I'm going back in with my Juvia's Place bronzer palette and I'm using the deeper shade on the bottom. So, I just take a little angle brush and you're just going to go in on top of your lash line like you would do if you were applying a liquid um, or a gel liner. I'm so sorry about that. You just go in with the eyeshadow like you would. And I'm gonna do this off camera because I cannot, I can't do that. Perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect, just like that if you can see it. So now I'm just coating my lashes and mascara 
um anyone is fine but i use the essence lash princess the waterproof one the blue one bomb i love it um and you can stop right here if that's what you you know want to do you can stop right here um with the lashes but i'm a lash girl so of course i'm gonna add lashes so okay so off camera i applied my glamnetic lashes um and the thing vixen the style vixen so if you like these these are my glamnetics in the style vixen go get you some they are at ulta and then i just add some lip gloss just a neutral tone shade this is fenty and the color fenty glow which is one of my faves and i'm running out and i need to go get some more so just for a pop of color but not too much so this is my no makeup makeup look tell me what you guys think in the comments below let me know how i did was it a win or was it a nah but everything will be listed in the description box below and please thumbs up my video if you liked it i definitely appreciate the love that i've been receiving for sure and i will see you in my next video bye